Hi, I'm Amanda Lillian Cole, and today I'm going to be showing you my skincare and makeup routine. Okay, so I took a shower like 20 minutes ago, and in the shower I washed my face using the CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser Cream to Foam. Um, and now my skin already feels really dry because it's been so long. The first thing I use is this Fenty Skin Fat Water Toner. And I just put this, make sure your hands are clean by the way. And I just put this on my fingertips like this. And then I just blend it into my skin. Instantly this feels so good on my skin. And I did feel awkward on my lips because my lips were so chapped they hurt. Now I'm gonna go in with the Hey Honey Good Morning Honey Silk Facial Serum. And this also feels instantly so hydrating on my skin. It's really good for dry skin. And I also got this in Ipsy. Um, a lot of my products are in Ipsy because it's really great because you're able to like discover new products that work for you. Um, and try out new things without like fully committing to it. This video is not sponsored by Etsy. <laughs> oh shoot, I forgot to put this on. I usually put this on, um, I'd say when I'm doing my makeup because it really helps keep my hair out of my face. Okay, next I have this caffeine eye cream. I also got this in Ipsy, shocker. But um, it's a depuffing and brightening eye cream with caffeine, hyaluronic acid, and green tea. I like the applicator of this. I feel like it's just really easy to apply. I just do a couple dots under each eye. And then with my ring finger, because it's supposed to be like the most gentle finger, um, I just blend this in. I may have used a little too much right now. <laughs> now I'm just going to use the Supergoop Play SPF 50 Everyday Lotion mixed with the L'Oreal Lumi Glotion. Um, this is in the shade Deep and I just mix it with this to like kind of blend it out a bit and like lighten it up. And I really like this combo. So I usually, because it's like really hot right now outside, I can like mix this up to make sure it's like a good consistency. And then I just put it on my face in lines like this. For the lotion, I pretty much do the same thing. And I just put a little bit right next to where I put the lotion. Okay besties, I had to take a quick trip to Starbucks because my energy levels were low and I really just really needed this caffeine. But yeah, I got the iced coffee with three pumps of white mocha and heavy cream. This has been my new favorite order and it's really good. I really recommend it. The first thing I will do is wet my beauty blender. This is the Real Techniques beauty blender, but once I wet it, it's so much more squishy, so much better for applying makeup. I will just go in with concealer. Now this is my natural, everyday summer makeup so I don't want to use like any foundation just because you will feel really heavy but this is the Tarte Ultra Creamy Shape Tape which so mini it's so itty bitty it's so cute but I really like this one much more than the regular shape tape I mean the regular shape tape worked phenomenal like it looked so good but with my dry skin it just didn't want to work right it would just kind of get a little peely and flaky my skin would just kind of rejected it was just a little too drying but this ultra creamy one is perfect um it's this tiny little size from ipsy and i definitely need to get a full size because this stuff is really good um but yeah so i will just apply this in these areas so i'll do a dot under my eyes i'll do a little bit here and then i'll do um like here kind of my t-zone a little bit on my nose cover up any blemishes sides of the nose and then chin and also like up here like that
So I literally love watching these Vogue beauty secrets videos. Like it's something about it. It's just so awesome. Like just watching other women do their makeup and like, I don't know. It's just, I love the energy of these videos. It's just like really calming and really nice to watch. Okay, once that's nice and blended out, I will pretty much, I usually go with blush or I do my eyebrows first. I typically do my eyebrows first or last. It's kind of random, but I think I'm gonna just go with blush while my skin is still like moist from the concealer. Um, so this is a cream blush. It's Tressluce Beauty Cream Blush in Day Night. And I didn't know it was a cream when I first got it, so I was using a brush and I didn't like how that applied. But now I just like applying it with my fingers. So I just grab like these two fingers and I just grab a little bit and then I just tap it into my cheekbones. And I just blend until I feel like it looks natural and looks the way I want it to. I feel like it's just really pretty for summer. I feel like cream blushes for summer is just the way to go because I feel like they look so much more effortless on your skin. They look more like dewy and like natural. Like it really is almost your skin. But um, I mean, I think wearing a lot of blush is so cute. Like I love like the look of like a lot of blush. I think it's cute, you know? And one trick I've always done is like smiling and then put it on the apples of your cheeks. I've always done that ever since I got into makeup. But then lately I also like to blend it higher up on my cheek and it'll blend really nicely with bronzer. Okay, so next up, I think I'm gonna go with bronzer, which is what I'm holding. So this is the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. And I love this. Every time I use this, I have to smell it because it smells so good. Like it smells just like a coconut, like tropical paradise. So the brush I use for this one is this, and I just dip it in here, and then I'm just gonna use my camera, um, and I just climb up like this. Sometimes I like, and then I'll like try to find where my cheekbones are, and I just kind of blend it like higher up, and then bring it down, and it kind of blends in with my blush as well. And then I'll go in with this brush. I've had this brush for a long time and it's one of my favorites because I don't know the shape of it. It's awesome because I can use it for contouring my nose. I can use it for my eyeshadow. It's just kind of a really versatile brush. Um, it's from AOA Studios. And I just dip this in here and I will just apply this on my eyelids. So the same color as my bronzer. And I just love how this looks. I've done this for so long. It's just it's great for just like natural everyday makeup. And it's so easy because it's like you use this one product and you use it all over your face and your eyelids. And then with the tip of it, cause like it's a little tapered with this tip, I will dip the tip in here and then kind of tap it off. And then I'll just use this to contour my nose which I feel like just makes kind of like a more natural contour. Whereas if I use like a really skinny brush, it tends to just, I don't know, I feel like it doesn't look that good. But if I use this one, it just blends it out nicely. So I kind of just go like in two lines down my nose, like the bridge of my nose. And then on the bottom, I will um, just apply it on underneath like this. And then I'll also, for kind of like more of a button nose look, I'll just apply a little like little line like right here to kind of make it look more like a button nose. Before I let this sit too long on my face, I think I'm gonna set everything with the Maybelline Fit Me. I've been using this forever, it's almost empty. Um, but I really like this stuff, it's the matte poreless. This is in the shade 120. And then I just go under my eyes and bring that down to the sides of my nose. Oh, 
highlighter time. And for summer, I usually use a powder highlight, but for summer, for a more dewy, summer, glowy look, I'll go with a liquid highlighter. So I think I'm gonna use this Kaleidoscope Cosmetics highlighter. This on its own is really good, but I find it's just a little bit hard to blend into your skin. So lately I've been mixing it with the Glow Recipe Nice into my dew drops, and I find I really like how that applies. So I'll just put some on the back of my hand, and this stuff smells like watermelon, but just a tiny little drop. That's really all you need because you only need a little bit of highlighter. And then I'll open this, and it's kind of like a lip gloss applicator. And then I'll just put some on there, and then I'll blend it with my finger or brush. And then I'm just gonna put this on my cheeks and oh, look at that, gorgeous. I feel like you can even apply some like on your forehead. It might be kind of weird, but I think it looks good. And then for like, like the points of my face, I'll just go with just the um, liquid highlight. This is an Astro Light. Which actually for the inner corner of my eye, I have this brush I like to use. Um, and I like this because when I use this, I'm able to get right up in there and kind of bring the highlight kind of going to my waterline. Again, I usually do this with a powder highlight, but for summer, more glowy look, I think liquid highlighter is a little better. See, I just blend it like right there. And then whatever is left in the brush, I'm just gonna put right there. Now I desperately need to do my eyebrows. So I'm gonna use the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. And I will just use just a little bit of this just to draw some hairs in there and just make it look more natural and just fill in my eyebrows in the places that I feel like it needs it. And then once I'm done with that, I will just grab brow gel, which is also the Benefit Fluff Up Brow Wax to keep my eyebrows in place all day. Okay, and we're almost done. How exciting. But um, usually I'd be able to do this routine a lot quicker. Um, now I'm going to curl my lashes and a trick I like to do is just take a blow dryer and just warm this up a little bit and then use it and it kind of helps keep the curl in place. This is the Revlon one. I'm going to use a combination of two mascaras today. So this is, this has been my favorite. This is the Maybelline Sky High. But then also because it's summer, I'm going to use this waterproof one. This waterproof one my, by Maybelline Colossal isn't my favorite because I feel like it can kind of smudge underneath your eyes, which is a little bit annoying. But I do like how this looks. It definitely adds a lot more volume, which is really pretty. And this one's definitely a lot more lengthening. And I only like to apply it to the top lashes, not the bottom, just because I feel like when I apply it to the bottom, again, it ends up like smudging. I don't know what it is with my eyes, but it always just ends up smudging and like getting me panda eyes and I don't like that. And there's the lashes. Okay, and all that's left is lips, which lips are kind of my favorite part. So it's a little bit basic, but it's because it works. It's, everyone knows about it because it's good. So this is the Lip Cheat Charlotte Tilbury in Pillow Talk. And then this is the Fenty Lip Gloss in um, Sweet Mouth.
And then lastly, finishing touch is lip gloss. And there's the finished makeup. I hope you guys liked this video and liked seeing my makeup routine because this is like my go-to routine, like natural, dewy, glowy makeup for summer particularly. But I mean, I would wear this any time of the year, but like the cream blush that I use and the liquid highlight, that's more like what I would do for summer. Um, and also like the super goop and like the glotion, that's a really good combo for summer. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my glowy skincare and makeup routine for summer. Um, I had such a fun time filming this video. I love personally watching videos like this, so I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing mine. And I hope you guys have an amazing day, and I love you. I'll see you on the next one. Bye!